Three months ago, I started an experiment where anyone could play on this Stardew Valley farm. I played the first day, then I passed the save file on to another person who played the second day, they passed it on to another person, and so on. Well, we're in the middle of summer now, and things are just starting to get interesting. All right, hopping back in day 50 now. This is day 50 of the farm. Ooh, we got the steel axe. That's an upgrade. That's new. No one has given the trash can any love yet. Whoa, skills are looking good. I don't even think I checked in on the skills recently, but we got, like, a profession in everything. Fishing is just about maxed out. Level six, at least everything. And again, we are doing that Pam marriage speed run. You guys are doing such a good job keeping up with Pam. Some of these other villagers need some love. Let's see, what's our Vincent relationship? Who's giving Vincent gifts? I, I know I said like, please guys work on the villager relationships. Let's like not worry about Vincent though. I think he's okay to kind of be ignored. Let's take a little look, see if we notice anything out here. End of the summer. So far, farm does not look any different. Although our sturgeon pond has three sturgeons in it now. So that's pretty dope. They request a jelly. We've also made 14,000 gold, up to 100,000 total earnings. So I think just in the summer, we went from like 20k to like 110k. We're not even done with the summer yet. I think all of these paths are new, but I can't say that they look very good. I think I think it might have been better to not have any paths, but hey, I guess to each their own. Robin's building something here, and we've got a very, very grand entrance leading up to it. Someone has removed the dent. The, the Z dent was located here, but it's gone now. I think, what would this be? This feels like a really good spot for a barn, right? Just is under construction. Good spot for a barn, again. These little, these, these feel like crop circles to me. There, there's multiple spots where these little things are. Like if I go to Joja Mart too, they're outside Joja Mart. Like, I don't know what, what's going on with these crop circles here. Anything in the bottom left of the farm? All right, we've got a silo. I don't remember if we had the silo or not before. Honestly, I've got bad memory. Let's go down here. Let's see if anything down low is happening. <laughs> Who put this flute block here? I don't know how you managed to be so annoying by placing one block, but that was so perfectly positioned and you chose the most annoying block too. I love the, the chaos that just comes naturally from a lot of random people playing on a farm. All right, you know what we gotta do? We gotta check the Joja development forum because we're starting to get some real money here. I, I've gotta imagine at this point, we have bought some sort of upgrade. People, we have so much money, it needs to go to Joja, please. Minecarts. Minecarts. We are moving up in the world, people. Joja has brought us the gift of transportation. Let's look at it. Ooh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. Let's go to the mines, shall we? Ooh, there's a little mines chest. Now, someone last time said that they blew up this wall, but then didn't talk to the dwarf. Has anyone talked to the dwarf since then? Yes. And someone gave him a gift, but apparently not a super great one. All right. So we do not know what the dwarf is saying yet, either. And the bus stop also. Looks pretty much unchanged. We've got some tappers here, though, so that's kind of nice. And once again, the bus stop wood path lives on. I'll check the beach real quick, but I don't think anything's been happening. Ooh, here's a little chest, though. Aw. You guys work so well together. I really did not expect when we started that you guys would work so well. But you guys, like, pay it forward. You're like, here, have some seaweed next person how generous collection tabs that's a good thing to check in on they got a little bit of progress here but there's still so much not done yet i don't think perfection is the goal so i guess it kind of doesn't really matter but yeah lots of lots of stuff left let's go to the museum because it's been a long time since i've been there museum okay that's actually a pretty respectable collection half a year got most of the uh the mine stuff it looks like all of the artifacts from the mines and from geodes it looks like but not really too many from the artifact spots but good stuff good stuff people all right we're gonna hop on discord we'll go through the little list because every time people play they also leave a little description of what they did okay so day 43 played by joanne watered crops harvested melons and blueberries and coffees and pickles Oh my. Remember to pet and water a wooga? You guys make more progress towards that pet than anything else. Collected copper pickaxe from Clint. Gifted Penny a gold melon gift. Oh my god, look at the gifting spree that Joanne went on. Look at this. Joanne, you're like an unsung hero. You, you got some gifts going. You earned uh, over $7,000. You planted some seeds. You did a little decorating. You know, it, it may not be the most glamorous job, Joanne, but you held this place together. Unfortunately, you did not remove the dent from the farm, so I can only give you so many kudos, but... Good work. Also, I'm definitely, I definitely just forgot all those paths were there last time. <laughs> wait a second, Wickedy, you just, yeah, hold on, wait a second. Gifted Vincent a grape. 
Mods, can you figure out who Joanne is in the chat and ban them forever? Right after I got done talking about that too. I just talked about how I didn't want anyone gifting Vincent. What a waste of a day. What an absolute waste of a day, Joanne. You made negative progress. Day 44. Maro X harvested blueberries and pepper and corn and sold them. Watered crops, gifted Abigail, gifted Linus. Okay, those are all, those are safe people to gift. Worked on the walkways. So you were the one that worked on the walkways here a little bit. Which ones did you do? I guess, yeah, here. You can see in the beginning of the day, this is what it looked like down low. But then they did this. It, I, I'll be honest. It looks ugly. It does look ugly, but I do think you move like 0.1 speed faster on pathways. So, you know, from an efficiency standpoint, I got to give it to you. You did contribute there. Nice. You were the one that started a silo. Okay. So I was not tripping. That was started recently here. Made five copper bars. It made 3,600 gold from the crops. Very nice. It's ugly because the dent is gone. Did you get rid of the dent? Oh, <gasps> You didn't even mention that. You just said worked on the walkways. You de-dented the farm. Look at this before and look at this after. It was you, it was it was Mero X. Mero, I'm gonna be honest, the rest of the chat's probably gonna come for your throat, but I really appreciate you doing that and cleaning our farm up a little bit. Next up, day 45, played by Will. Water crops, pet and water to Wooga, chopped some wood and placed a sign on the fish pond. Okay, very helpful. Smelted some ores forged around the map. Gifted Leah, went mining, made 1K. Good work, Will, good work indeed. And it looks like, did the silo finish that quickly? Wow, okay. Silo is done. Day 46, water crops finished to help one in quest to make Elliot happy, smelted some bars, went fishing, collected some wood, and made 2.5 thousand. It's just the slow, steady progress. Very helpful. Thank you, Potted Lock. Day 47, pet and water to Wooga, harvested blueberries and hot peppers, put four blueberries in preserves jars and sold the ancient fruit jelly. Wait, we had ancient fruit jelly? I forgot about that. I guess we did get an ancient seed. I think that sounds familiar to me, but I actually don't remember. We had ancient fruit jelly in the middle of summer year one. Collected hardwood. We now have 71 in the black chest next to the furnace. See, I'm used to speed running and like forgot that it's that easy to get hardwood if you, you know, play every day fully. Bought a rare seed from the traveling cart. Okay, that's in a chest somewhere. Somewhere, I'm sure. Gave Clint axe for steel upgrade. Bought minecarts for Joja. Got to level seven foraging and made some shmoney. Good looks, good looks indeed. Highlights of day 48. Water harvested, sold crops. Converted all spring and summer forage into seeds and sold. Completed the earth crystal Demetrius fetch quest. What a way to phrase that. Like it's you did a help wanted quest for Demetrius where he asked for an earth crystal, or earth crystal, but you phrased it. Completed earth crystal Demetrius fetch quest. <laughs> I love that. Mine for stone and copper. We we have enough stone for a coop now. Aw. I don't know why this sentence is so cute. Mined for stone and copper. We have enough stone for a coop now. Did my Saturday duties and collected all forage still available on the map. Bought the final backpack upgrade. Look, I think your contributions were just kind of like, you know, pretty normal, pretty standard stuff. But I like the way that you phrased all of it. No 3,000. I like that. Total money earned. Net loss due to buying backpack. This guy's balancing our books for us. I love that. Andy Andy. Watered and Petawooga, watered and harvested crops. Picked up steel axe from Clint. Bought and planted melon seeds. Gave Demetrius a melon for the quest. <laughs> Chopped down trees for the rest of the day. There's more than enough wood to buy house upgrade and a coop. Oh, okay. So we've got, we've got what we need in terms of wood to buy the house upgrade. All right, and then day 50, this is the one we were just on. Asked Robin to build a coop. Oh, it was a coop. Purchased some path recipes so that we can get these ugly stone paths out of here. Gave the dwarf an amethyst for his birthday. Talked to some villagers, gave some gifts. Level seven farming and bought food recipes. Good stuff. Okay, let's move on. Let's uh, let's go on to our next day now. We are moving on to day 58. It is fall three and group Dumpy has a new look. The squire helm. Oh, we're very low on money. But I think that just means that we bought some cool upgrades, is what I imagine. Okay, your steel pickaxe is ready. That's pretty exciting. Oh, okay, the fish tank has a new visitor in it. We, <laughs> somehow we lost the sea urchin. I don't know what happened with the sea urchin, but he's no longer here. But we do have the crimson fish now, so very nice legendary fish grab. Do we get any other legendary fish? Crimson fish and the angler we also got. Really cool. Whoa, skills going crazy right now. We got level 10 fishing, level seven, pretty much everything else. That's really good though. Pam is at five hearts. Oh yeah, keep halfway there, baby. Halfway to max hearts with Pam. Now I'm very curious to find out who gets married on this farm. Like who do we marry? Cause that's like no single person can decide who we marry. You know, like it's, it's the collective efforts of all of the community to get somebody to max hearts. And then somebody has to pull trig on the mermaid's pennant. But right now, Penny's the front runner. Should we, should we make an official guess on who we're going to marry? My official guess is not Penny. 
I think we're going to marry Leah. That, that's my guess. Don't do it because I said so, but that's what I think is going to happen. All right, let's go take a look around our fall farm. Nice, we've kept... Okay, I was gonna say, we've kept the square approach for growing crops, but we did actually get some quality sprinklers. So long gone are our peasant days of watering everything by hand. We still have our classic regular sprinklers to keep us humble. I think there's a new decoration here on the on the porch, the skeleton. A fourth sturgeon has also appeared. So somebody at some point got the sturgeon jelly. We love this song. <gasps> did you guys see what was in this chest? We've done it. We've done it. You guys started working on that and everyone was, uh, that was a group effort there. Got lucky purple shorts. What are we gonna do with them now? There's so many options. Got a bunch of coffee beans. What are you guys hoarding coffee beans for? You got 200 in there. I didn't even see you guys growing coffee beans. How did you acquire 200 coffee beans in such a short period of time? Oh, there's also in, in the same chest as lucky purple shorts. We also have the angler, just a raw fish in that chest. And then a bunch of forage also. Wow, lots and lots of forage in there. And then look at this little station. I think this is new. We got a workbench here, but then in these chests, we've put a bunch of different craftable stuff. This is actually such a smart way to do this. And for some reason, I have never even bought or crafted a workbench a single time. Ooh, wait, what's this over here? We're, oh, we're starting a little tree farm. Okay, so the coop is done. We've got some chickens. Moment of truth, what are these chickens named? You guys make me proud. You guys make me so, so proud. Haboom and Habobo? <laughs> we only have two chickens. They're brothers. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right, we got the silo still down here. It doesn't look like anything else. The path still going strong. I'd like to see some more farm development. I feel like it's been a while since we've really expanded on our farm. Especially now that we have access to sprinklers. I feel like money's gonna really start to ramp up. I feel like year two is when you like really start to get her going. I don't want to speak this into existence. But I have a feeling the next time we come on this farm, there's going to be a lot of chickens and they're all going to be named variations of Haboob. We'll have like Habloob, Habooberry, Hababi, Habobo. We'll have everything. I guess we'll check Joja Mart here again. See what's going on there. We do have the Squire's helmet, which is super dope. Is anyone going to delete these paths? Dude, I feel like the first thing I would do is delete those paths. I am so tired of looking at those things. They're so ugly. And just the minecart still. Guys, we have got to get this old crusty community center up here. See, this thing is is looking all right. I don't know. I feel like we can do better. I feel like we can do so much better. Let's see what the, the people have said. All right, day 51. Collected row red mail for the sashimi recipe. Watered and harvested crops. Started making jelly for fish pond. Watered in Petawooga. Unlocked the secret woods and fished. Very nice eclipse unlocking the secret woods there. Day 52. Woke up and enlarged the screen a bit. I love when you guys tamper with the settings. I feel like that's how you would feel the presence of other people on the account the most if you were playing. Gifted Marnie and Willie diamonds. Wow, well, we're giving Marnie all of our farm's diamonds. Bought an iridium rod from Willie and caught the crimson fish. Oh, it was Navzi. Navzi was the OG that caught the crimson fish. Dumpster dove on the way home. Very nice. Look, we're making like thousands of dollars a day. This is pretty solid cash flow, honestly. Day 53, harvested crops that were ready sold to Pierre. Have a lot of blueberries and chests to process. Fished until level 10 and chose angler, an excellent profession. Took all fish to inventory for selling. Bought two chickens and filled their tray and collected hay to, si to silo. Bought two chickens. I, okay, so actually, I don't know, because you can change the animals' names. So I don't know if YHYY was the person that named them Haboob and Habobo, but at least you were the one that got the chickens on the farm. Sold fish that were in inventory, put sturgeon row in a preserving bin. Preserving bin, love that name for it. Got a cake from mom, that's cute. Oh, that's actually, uh, I think, cause we got like 120,000, right? Total earnings, 140K. So we got that pink cake from mom since we earned 120K. Gave the wizard some green algae for a quest. Triggered Haley's two heart event and chose the plus 30 friendship option. All right, cool, blueberry jelly finished some more blueberries in the bins. And day 55, there's two more days of summer here. Check TV, good luck and sunny day tomorrow. Tended to chickens, harvested the coffee and what, did I miss the whole coffee? I uh, Obviously I did, cause you have 200 coffee beans, but <laughs> I missed all of that coffee somehow. Chopped hardwood stumps and collected random forage, cracked some geodes to get stuff for museum donations. I can't believe how, like, how this is just going so normally. I feel like if I played this, I would like destroy the entire farm, but I would replant entirely coffee beans, you know? 
just to cause as much chaos as possible. Caught the last summer fish, Dorado. Threw pick, oh wow, you got that the last second. Threw pickaxe to Clint for upgrading, got a workbench because it is nice to have. Mixed math, very, very, very nice. Gave Pam a, a beer because we love her, we really do. Went to the dance of the moonlight jellies and stood next to the chest. Very cool, and then uh, yeah, into the fall. Got the artisan achievement, expanded our garden and added long needed sprinklers, very nice. Invested all of our savings into cranberry seeds. <laughs> you know that like, it's always sunny in Philadelphia meme where it's like the, the guy on the board and he's like looking all deranged. It's like, I picture omelet right there, like deranged looking, it's like, it's all about the cranberry seeds, man. It's an investment, I promise. Put on the squire helmet because that is what we are. Put on the squire helmet because that is what we are. God, don't get too political. Jeez. Crafted a new scarecrow and glowstone ring. Caressed the sleeping haboos. Omelette, you know your name is like publicly tied to this, right? Took care of the animals. Gifted Penny the emerald for her birthday. Donated a rusty spoon. Caught the legendary angler. Yes. Very nice, Will. Good angler get. Caught three largemouth bass and completed the quest. Made some sprinklers and prepped for new crops. Day 59. Took care of a wooga and the chickens. Sold eggs. Planted nine pumpkin seeds, hoping to get a large crop out of it. Uh, smelted iron in the furnace. Got some hardwood. Check the mail. Whoever plays after me, please build a stable as you have all the materials to do so. Aw. Very cute. At the at the humble request of Blue 03, hopefully Lil Mimble bought the stable. Took care of the chickens, watered the pot. Nope, you didn't. All right, wonderful. Request ignored. That's day 60. I am almost done catching up on like the progress. You guys have so far played 65 days. I'm gonna put out a request. I want some more chaos. Don't grief, right? We don't wanna undo progress, but cause some chaos. Maybe move the coop around a little bit. Maybe spell something out with paths. Oh, like, like Lil Mimble did right here. Hi. You know, have, have a little bit of chaos. Let's let's have the full unspeasable Z community experience, shall we?